What are you doing, man? Oh. Pull your gun. There's no gun. Ken, what are you Put doing? Me? Put your hands on way. Put your hands yeah. on dash. What are you doing with your gun out, man? Right, no what lawful basis was there for you to ask for her ID? I don't know. Um, in order to detain somebody, what do you have to have legally? Do you know? Mm, I do not know the law legally. This is not a from a comedy movie. These are supposed to be cops who should know and protect our rights, but they don't even know the laws. In this video, we've gathered some not-so-smart officers doing crazy stuff that will seriously make you cringe. So you thought there was an auto accident, so you came up with a gun. A security camera at a store caught a really bad situation where a cop in Wilmington, Delaware, named Samuel Waters, went up to a guy for no reason, grabbed him, and then banged his head a bunch of times on the plexiglass by the cash register. The beating continued off camera, but now there's new body cam footage from Officer Waters that shows what happened right after this violent incident. My face, bro. You just smashed my face into the glass for nothing. Then you just great slam me down. Look what you just did, man. And all I'm asking you is what is going on? Why are you arresting me? Right. I told you. I'm no, detaining you. You just need to turn around. No, you didn't you want to listen. Tell me anything. You're, you didn't even read my rights or okay. nothing. You didn't tell me what was going on. You just straight started assaulting okay. me, dude. Look at my Stop. face. Stop. Stop. Look at my face, man. The guy didn't do whatever the cop said, and that's totally okay because it's his right. This is why Officer Waters think it's okay to be aggressive and violent. But he should have told the guy what he did wrong or what the investigation was about. The guy didn't have to answer any of Officer Waters' questions. You're f***ing going down, dude. You just assaulted me for no reason. Okay. You just assaulted me for no reason, dude. I wanted to have a conversation with you, and nah, you got squirrel. You, didn't. you wasn't trying to conversate nothing, dude. You was trying to f assault me. Fuck the door. Well, so maybe next time I say, put your hands in the wall, you listen. In air. Instead of being a in the air. My hands were in the air. Now you just All right. assault me. This guy just f***ing assaulted me, man. I like to speak to some superiors. <laughs> This is assaulting me. It's all on camera in there, dude. I see another look, set of hands in car. Come on. Let's go. Why are you trying to twist and, twist Come and break on. my wrist? Yeah, probably, because he's one of those fall down, see you, mother. Who is it? Hmm? Who is it? No idea. He don't want to tell me his name. My fingerprint scanner is not working. Okay. I tried to have a conversation with him, and he broke bad and we ended up fighting. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, so he's angry, got his head slammed into a wall, but. Well, that is what it is. <laughs> Yeah. That's all you gotta do. Whatever. So, just figured I'd get some extra hands in case he decides to do something dumb. The man sued Officer Waters, saying he violated his rights and used a racial slur during the arrest. Officer Waters got charged with eight counts, including two felonies from this incident and another earlier that month. And then you can see it right there, the suspect trying to get into somebody's property or still trying to hide, but uh, doing a very, very poor job of it right there. LAPD coming to a stop. Oh, come on, guys. He's right there. Uh, the, the officer's running right by him. They're, they're going right by him. Angie, our pilot today, talking on O2, trying to tell the officers that this suspect is right there. And, uh, and again, you just saw that. Oh, my goodness. I just feel so bad for those officers making their way back now. It's the blue car. There we go. Somebody's, get, somebody's getting the information. Somebody's got to be getting the information. Keep coming around, Ange. Keep coming around. Keep coming around. That suspect, unbelievable. They, we're watching this live. And you have to understand that these officers, they don't know what the information that we know. But again, that LAPD helicopter just arriving. There you go. Some of those officers must be getting that information. There you go. There you go. And now that suspect going into custody. Wow. Wow. And... They haven't seen him yet. This is unbelievable. There we go. Oh my God. So you thought there was an auto accident, so you came up with a gun. In Arizona, a cop pulled over a parked car after heard reports about a car crash. Right away, the officer pulled out a gun on the two guys inside. Check out how messed up this situation gets. The ruckus, sir. Oh, there it goes. Transmission's better? As soon as, as soon as he comes out. It's all better now? What? Shut it! Come on up here. Hey, the car is hot, man. Just trying to get some water out of it. Whoa, whoa, what the... Hey! Okay. 
What are you doing, man? Don't pull your gun. There's out. no you gun. Ken, what are you Put doing? Me? Put your hands on the wheel. Put your hands yeah. on the dash. What are you doing with your gun out, man? Right, there's no threat. There's no threat. Got it. I'll tell you in a second. Close to your weapon, man. All right. You don't tell me what to do. All right. Keep your hands on the dash. Keep your hands on the thing. All right. On the 911 call. All right. Okay. I'll explain all that. To you in a second, all right? Because we're trying to get water, right? Okay, exactly. I don't know what you're trying to do right now, but you guys are, you're over here with the door open. All right? Yeah, we need to check a person. Look I'm at that. Is it illegal to have the door open? Cool, man. So calm is down. It, Let's start you over. You call, you put your gun away. Let's no, no, go, I'm not calm down. Tell your guns away. Calm. Don't worry about my gun. Put your gun away. Our, Our hands are up. You don't tell me what to do. Right? Put your gun away. Turn it action. Why did the officer choose to pull out a gun on the guys if it was really just a car accident? This officer might have committed a serious crime by pulling out his gun and pointing it at these people when there wasn't any real threat. And to top it off, he asked for a do-over while still holding his gun and telling them to keep their hands up. It's hot. We had to leave it going. The transmission is hot. Okay. I'm not moving my hands. Fair enough. What are you doing out here? Whatever I want. Am I breaking the law? I'm not breaking any laws. I need some water. But any hot. Okay. You guys involved in that collision out here? No. No. It came out as a does red it, car, does it look two like, white males. No. So does it look like a collision? Prison. Take a look at the collision. I haven't walked out of there, bro. Okay, well, well then do the investigation. Right. We'll keep our to... hands up here. You check the I'm car. I'm here trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Okay. All right. All right. I'm take a I, piss. That's I one thing. You. I'm out five feet away. I'm telling you exactly what to do, and you're not doing it. That's why this came out. I don't listen to tyrants, man. You got your gun pulled. Look at you. This don't make me a tyrant, bro. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. We didn't pull a gun on you. Listen, let's start over, man. What do you? What's your business out here right now? <laughs> Anything I want to do, a free American citizen, exercise any right so I can. So you weren't involved in an auto accident, right? Why don't you take a look around, do your own investigation? Okay. How about this? Pursue it to the fifth. I don't need to talk to you anymore. How about that? Fair enough, man. All right, there you, you go. This. You do need to give me your license. You swore an oath to the Constitution, right? Your driver's license. For what? And this is not a traffic stop. For what? Huh? For what? Because I'm on what's called an investigative stop. Then you right? tell me your reasonable, articulable suspicion, and I'll give you whatever you want. Okay. Tell me what it is. So you guys are right, red car, two white males surveying the prison. All right, I'm out here on 911 call. I'm doing an investigative stop right now. Okay. So haven't had the chance to talk to you. Was there a yet. crime? Is cameras a there crime? There's possibly a crime. All right. So I need your ID. You got to figure out if there's a crime first. Do you have Wilson. articulable suspicion? 458. Can you articulate your suspicion that we've committed? There's no crime, man. Hands are Come up on. here. I'm we ain't, okay. we ain't, we ain't moving. Wait until my other unit gets here, then I can go back to the investigation. You can do okay. whatever you want, right. man. You're above the law. We'll, we'll keep our hands up here. We don't want to get shot or nothing. That's not cool, man. Yeah, what? that's, that's not gun. cool. Come up with a gun. R. Olson, what's your background? You thought there was an. So you're saying you thought there was an auto accident, and so you came up with. A this cop is pretty tense. What this officer really needs is more training and to go on some ride-alongs for a bit. It's obvious that after some arguing, the cop figured out he messed up and just tried to play it cool. But eventually, he completely changed how he was acting. We're now with a red vehicle, got two white males. Take pictures of the prison out here. Uh, right now, it's all I got so far. Doing lawful activity. Oh, so that's all you got is that we, is you're saying now it's not an auto accident, but somebody took pictures of a prison? I already told you what it is, man. I'm not gonna repeat myself. Okay, no, you told him what it is. In all fairness, I'll repeat myself. Okay. So is it illegal to take pictures? Here's what it is, all right? I had a crime, I have a report of a crime committed. Because of your, your non-compliance, I have not had a opportunity to investigate it, okay? I'm gonna stand here with you. Mm -hmm. Once the other unit gets here, I'm gonna have, have them stay with you guys. I'll continue on my investigation, okay. all right? Can, I did can... not expect to run into a red car with two white males <laughs> surveying the prison as I'm on the way to the exact call that I'm out here for, okay? Okay, can you I, tell I can't me that? Be any more clear than that? All right, all right. So we'll just hang out. So is the crime over? I, I respect you. All right, all right. Rights. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it right. Cool. I'm pointing cool. my gun at you, but all I right. got my gun out. And I'm okay. By law, more than entitled to it. All right. Can I clarify one all thing right. then? Is the is the 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 suspicion of crime is it an auto accident or public photography? Which one? That would be hit and run, actually. Okay, so an auto accident. Well, not just an officer. You'd be hit and run. Okay, okay, cool. Offense, yeah. Cool. So it has nothing to do with public photography then? No. Okay. Because you said surveying well, a prison. I'm can't, you keep that thing out, man. I'm, yeah. I'm can't, I got a camera. You got I'm a just camera trying to clarify. Cause, I'm just okay. trying to clarify because it sounds like two separate things. Surveying a prison and an auto accident. I'm trying to put together what you're trying to, you well, know. Well, there was that lead up and then there was an auto accident and then there was a hit and run, okay? So the car <laughs> itself is hit and run, okay? But... Okay. Not just surveying the prison. Okay. Now that we've de-escalated, right. can I put you my hands down? Survey. Can I put my hands down now that we've de-escalated? Sure. All right. This officer sees an accident not as a mistake, but as a reason to act like a bully. When he realized there was no real danger, you could hear the adrenaline in his voice fade. Hopefully, he faced the consequences he deserved, or learned a lesson in training to become a better cop.
It's actions like these that make a lot of people dislike cops. This 17-year-old kid knows his rights. He got the attention of a cop when he was hanging around the store. The officer stopped him, thinking he looked like someone they were after. The teenager then educated the cop about the rights of civilians. At the E6 store? Hey, who? The E6 store? For e cigarettes? How old are you? 17. 17? Where are you coming from? The wreck. The what? The wreck. The wreck center? Yeah. What's your name? Why? Because I'm asking you for your name. No, I don't have to give out my name. Yeah, you do, because I'm investigating a suspicious person and you have to give me your name. Suspicious ain't a crime, though. Uh, yeah, it is. Being suspicious is a crime? Yeah, if you're doing something, can you just step off away from the road? These people drive crazy. Well, I had a feeling y'all was going to come. So what? I had a feeling y'all was going to come bother me once I see you. I came from well, the yeah, wreck. Well, yeah, because I was looking right at you. I just came from the wreck. Okay. The teenager informs the officer that he just came from a recreation center, and there's no good reason for the cop to question him. He's totally correct, but the cop isn't giving up. Now, she's throwing random questions at him, hoping he'll say something incriminating. What is your name? I don't need to give out that. I didn't, be, I didn't commit no crime. How do I know that? You don't need to know that. I know that. Can you call your sergeant? I don't need to call my sergeant. Yes, you do. For what? Because you got to. It's your policy. You better do it. That's the thing. Okay. But I know the law. I'm not done. I didn't say you were dumb. Then why are you trying to play me for stupid? I'm not. I'm so telling call your you, sergeant. You want to talk to call my sergeant? Call your sergeant. For yeah. what reason? Because I asked. I'm, I asked you. That's your policy, ain't it? No. Yes, it is. You want to tell me that for real? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. 100%. What's your badge number? 246. What's your name? Cummings, right? The cop wants to know the teenager's name, but he says no. He's allowed to do that. The law says you can refuse to answer if the officer doesn't have a reasonable, articulable suspicion or probable cause to detain, interrogate, or pat down a person. Then the boy flips things around and asks the officer for her identification. All right. Y'all niggas is bugging, bro. I ain't doing a damn. That's fine. I'm just telling you, somebody called about someone that somewhat matches their description, but what I see your What did you say blue. again, please? So what? What store did you say? The E6 store? And e where is it at? It's on this road. Okay, from that away. Okay, I believe you. Then why you keep questioning me if I haven't done nothing? Well, now that I'm looking at your pants, I see they're black. And I was told they were blue pants, so... I mean, no reason to get all hyped up with me. No, I'm just asking why you okay, just... Okay, do you still want to speak with my sergeant? I'm, am I free to go? Yeah, I'm gonna give you my card. Okay. Awesome. My sergeant's oh, yeah. name, I'm gonna write it on here for you, okay? So you can reach out to him if you need to. Now that the cop realizes she stopped the wrong person and the boy isn't scared of her, she starts coming up with small excuses. She tries to calm the teenager by giving him her card, but he's not naive enough to see this as just a mistake, and he, he's still being Don't cautious. Don't worry about that, I'm not That's from out here. All right, well, I'm not from out here either. Yeah, stop bothering me. Let me get the card. Get my card. Thank you. Okay, sir. You have a good day. Yup. 